What is up squad? Pino E here. Happy Sunday. Let's get this video rolling. Here's a look at this week's upcoming releases and a little sneaker news to go along with it. Today's video is going to kick off with the Adidas EQT Support ADV Prime Knit Zebra. This is a dope model that's been selling pretty well for Adidas. I'm a fan of them. These shoes drop on March 23rd for $140, but some Adidas retailers have already started to release them and the retail price is set at $140. Also dropping on March 23rd featuring a woven white and black upper with black detailing and small hit of turbo red are the Adidas EQT Support 9317. You can find these at select Adidas retailers along with adidas.com for $180. Ah, I really hate this next shoe, it's just horrible. But in case some of you want them, the Nike KD9 Elite Time to Shine is releasing on March 24th. There's a whole Time to Shine pack releasing that date and we'll look at the others next, but these are the worst. Look for these at select Nike basketball retailers for, well, I don't know the price, but whatever it is, it's that much too much. Next in the Nike Basketball Time to Shine pack, we have the Nike Kyrie 3. Aside from the KD9, the theme of this pack is white and iridescent, which is a good look for this model. I like them, and you can find them on March 24th for $120. And last from the pack are the Nike LeBron 14, and these also drop on the 24th and retail set at $175. Similar to the Kyrie, the pair comes in a mostly white upper featuring ice blue detailing and iridescent branding. The full pack can be found at most retailers along with the sneakers app. Please note, I'm not saying these are going to release, but when I saw the Time to Shine pack, the first thing I could think of were the PG12K. These were rumored to drop in spring for $110, and we still haven't seen any news on them, but the colorway matches the Time to Shine pack way too closely to be a coincidence. Who knows if they'll drop, but I'm going to be keeping my eye out on the sneakers app that day. The United Arrows and Sons NMD City Sock released yesterday exclusive to United Arrows, but look for them to drop on March 24th at Global Adidas retailers. Same with these, they dropped exclusive at Titolo yesterday, but there is a global release scheduled for the 25th with a retail price of $180. We're still on the 25th of March, and the next pair to release are the Nike LeBron 14 University Red. The pair comes dressed in a red upper with black detailing found on the branding, heel tab, and sock liner. The pair sits on a speckled mid and translucent outsole. These shouldn't be a problem to pick up, and retail set at $175. I'm still salty at how Nike played everyone with the vote back for the Atmos one. I just think it was in extremely bad taste to have your loyal brand followers waste a month in voting every day to pick a shoe to come back and then release it in limited quantities. I'm sure they have their reasons, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with it. They run the Air Max campaign to celebrate the day, but instead they turn it into a negativity from the community. Whatever, that's on them. I don't want to buy these because I'm not supporting that fuckery, but if you do, then good luck with the draw on March 25th. Jordan Brand has a couple of their own releases planned for March 25th, and the first are the grade school exclusive Air Jordan 6 Still Blue. The pair will be available in toddler, preschool, and extended grade school sizing. They will in no way be a limited release. I don't yet have the map, but you can trust me on this one. And the retail price for these is set at $140. Next from Jordan Brand, we have the Air Jordan Retro 4 Motorsport, and these will also release on March 25th. The pair will come in toddler, grade school, and men's sizing with men's retailing for $190 and grade school for $140. And you can pick these up pretty much everywhere, including the sneakers app. Similar to the sixes, this is a huge release available in large quantities, so there's really no need to stress this pair. March 26th is Air Max Day, and it marks the first time the Nike Air Vapor Max will be widely available. The Nike Air Vapor Max Pure Platinum releases with a full fly knit upper and pure platinum featuring white detailing. The pair drops at almost all retailers for $190. There's another Nike Air Vapor Max dropping on the 26th, but this pair comes in a pure platinum, university red, and wolf gray colorway. Same date, same price, $190. And last for this week's drops, we have the Nike Women's Air Max LD0 releasing on March 26 for $180. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the week. I'll be updating my daily videos with release maps and locations, dropping some of the pairs we looked at. So now let's move on. Let's start with ASICs, and first up, we got their latest take on the Gel Light 3 coming in a latte colorway. This classic silhouette utilizes a full leather upper and a light cream latte colorway sitting on an off-white mid and a white outsole. These actually released overseas at Atmos, and you could expect them to release in North America and Europe later this spring. One thing I like about ASICs is that they're always dropping seasonal pairs. You can always count on the brand to drop Valentine's or Christmas pairs, and although these are dope, I don't really get it. What we have up on screen are the ASICs Gel Light 5 Easter, coming in a brown and beige suede upper with neoprene liner. 
I do like these, but when I think of Easter, I think yellows, greens, pinks, blues, and pastel shades, so I don't really understand the inspiration here. Anyway, you can look for these to release sometime this coming week. Over to Nike now, and let's start with the Kobe AD Compton City. I don't really get this one either. He was born in Italy, raised in Philly, he lives in LA, and I don't quite understand the connection to the city of Compton. The shoe comes with a textured upper and marbled heel, but the nicest detail on the shoe comes on the insole, featuring a Compton graphic with the city of Compton lettering. You can find these on April 7th at Foot Locker for $160, and if you know something I don't about his Compton City connection, let me know down in the comments. Most of you follow me on Instagram, so you may have seen this, but I was having a hell of a time getting the release date for the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet and Metallic Gold, but I finally have it, and both pairs are dropping on April 15th. Stay tuned for more as we get closer. Time for Jordan Brand, and for this first bit, I don't have any picks to go along with it except this one concept from Jays Are Dead, but I have some info on a few upcoming Air Jordan 1s thanks to my dude P Smurf. On June 20th, we have two pairs coming up, one in a sale in University Red colorway and the other in a black in University Red. In October, you could expect to see the Air Jordan 1 Retro High coming in a flyknit construction in black, white and royal for $180. November will also feature a flyknit high in wolf grey, gum yellow, white and golden harvest. And the last pair we have are the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in elemental gold, gum yellow, elemental gold, which could end up looking like the pair that you've been staring at. Now when the blogs start writing about these, just remember who told you first. Sticking with the Air Jordan 1 theme, today we get a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Wings. This pair continues with the Wings theme that we saw last year when Jordan Brand dropped the Air Jordan 12 Wings, and that inspiration could be seen via the graphic on the insole. Built with a premium leather construction, the Wings branding can be found embossed into the black tongue tag, along with the gold metal heel tab and on the icy outsole. The pair comes with boot style laces, but also looks to come with a second lace bag which contains writing on them. The bad news, these are expected to be extremely limited Stay tuned for more. We've seen a lot of the Air Jordan 5 red suede, which are releasing on July 1st, and as I mentioned a while back, a blue suede 5 will also be releasing. This is the first decent look that we've had at that shoe. I like them better than the reds, but both are still a pass for me. There's no word yet on when these will release, so stay tuned. And last for today, we have the Air Jordan 4 Sand, aka Linen. These last released back in 2006, and thanks to my dude Spicy Chicken Wings, we get a first look at the pair, which is set to drop sometime this fall. Now fellas, the bad news, unless you can fit into grade school sizing, you can't have them. This was confirmed by Soul Heat on Feet. That sucks. I like them. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.